Welcome to another Black Magic AI tutorial video on A star path planning. So the previous video was in Java and you can click on the link in the description to find that video, but this one will be in Python. So once again, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, so prerequisites are Python 3.5.3. That's what this demo is using. Other versions may also work, but that's what's in the demo. So what we're going to cover is clone the A star repo. We're going to manually create a grid and we're going to apply the A star to that grid to do path planning. Then we're going to load a grid map from file and we're going to do the same thing on the that one. So the next thing we need to do is go to the blackmagicaiwebsite.com website. Click on the uh, go to the social media bar. Click on the GitHub link and that takes us to our GitHub page. And then we're going to select the A star project in the repo. So it has a readme in here with additional like instructions and directions and also notice that there's a Java and a Python uh, folder so you can use either one. So this A star is in Java and Python. And then there's our reference links if you want to follow those. Um, but the main thing is we want to uh, use the Python and there's an additional readme with this additional instructions for Python. So you can look at that. Um, but the main thing we want to do is clone this repo. Um, so we're going to go back and we're going to click on the uh, code and copy the link to this GitHub repo. Then we're going to go to a terminal and we're going to do a git clone. And then we're going to paste that link. So that'll copy all the code from our repo to our local file system. And now that we have that, let's take a look at what we have. So here we have the A star uh, project on our file system. And we're just going to dig deeper into that and we're going to CD into that folder. And that's going to show us the Java and Python folders. Uh, so in this video, we're using the Python. So we're going to CD into that one. And then once we get into the Python one, you'll see the uh, code. So the main uh, driver program of the user interface is the astardriver.py. The astar.py, that's the actual astar class that runs the algorithm. And then there's um, some uh, text files you can load to load a pre-made map. And we'll talk more about that in the video. All right. So now that we have that, we want to run the uh, driver program, which is the main user interface that uh, uses the A-star class to do its calculations. And we have two options. We can manually create a grid or we can load one from a file. So for this one, we're going to do a manually create grid. So on this one, we specify the size. I want 15 columns and 10 rows. So you can see uh, the rows are numbered and the columns above are numbered and they're in uh, increments of 10. So it restarts at uh, zero after 10. All right, so we're in uh, grid map edit mode. So we do that. We enter in the position of the um, item we want to put in a cell. So in this case, I'm doing column five, row four, and I want to put a block cell. So a block cell is just a solid obstacle that cannot be passed. So you can pick the other ones options for um, these additional options offer various uh, costs associated with them. So the higher the cost, the more difficult the obstacle. All right. So we've added some additional uh, blocks. So now what I want to do is add a starting point and a finish point. So in order for this algorithm to work, it needs a starting point and a goal. And I've placed this little block wall uh, obstacle in between those two. So I'm going to add a start point at column two row five and I'm going to pick one as the option because this I want this block to be a uh, the type of this block to be a start cell. Um, so yeah I changed the resolution on my terminal so it kind of bumped the nozzle over the uh, grid the obstacle over but don't worry about that that's not affecting the grid or calculation. Alright so now I want to put a finish cell so I'm putting that on the other side of the wall and I'm going to use seven for that. So now you see I have the white circle is the start and then the dark one is the finish cell. So to get out of edit mode and run the algorithm, I click no, I don't want to edit anymore. And then the algorithm runs and it plots the path it found on our uh, grid. 
Now this is a rectangular path uh, because I'm using four-way uh, grid search. So if you want to get diagonals on your coat, you'll have to change the coat to use eight-way. So that way you can get diagonal paths. But this one's just using four-way, so it's going to be kind of like a boxy uh, path. All right, so now let's try the load from file. So this is a pre-made file, and if you go to the repo page, README, there's a link where you can go to a website that will pre-generate files for you because it's kind of complicated and a pain to do it manually. Uh, but so I go to this site. You can accept the defaults or modify it however you want. And then you just click on the generate and it creates a grid uh, for you with a text file. So you can download that text file. It has the ASCII uh, characters in it. Uh, and that's what we're using here. So this is the one. Um, so I have some already in the project two files that you can use. So if we click load from file, I can type in the name of the file I want or just hit enter and that will get the default file, which is the maze.txt. So that's a default already included with the project. And here it is. All right. So in this maze, I want to add a start point and an end point and run the A-star algorithm to find the path through the maze from the in to the out. So I want to put a new uh, grid cell in here. So I'm going to put it at one column one, row one. That's at the entrance. So you can see the little white uh, circle now is my start point. And then I want to add another cell. So I say yes. And then I want to put this at the end which would be like column 29, row 19. And then I want to make this a finish cell. So a finish cell is the end point. So you can see that I have my little dark circle now at the exit and a white circle at the input. So I click no, get out of edit mode, and this will run the A star algorithm. And voila, there's my path marked with the asterisk showing the solution that it found through the maze from the start point to the end point. So once again, this is a star path planning algorithm in Python. Right. This code has various applications you can use in your video games to make your uh, autonomous characters move around in a maze and find the opponent. Or you can use it for robotics for helping your robot navigate a room. Uh, some drawbacks with that, but we'll talk about that in another video. But once again, like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube.